I wasn't going to do an unboxing video, but here's two more boxes from the storage unit. That was full of comic books, toys, and collectibles. I've never went through these boxes. Let's go together. The bottom box I know is full of trading cards. I've seen some Star Wars and baseball, and I'm assuming most of it is low and stuff, but you never know. We'll check it out together. But let's see what's in here. Wonder Woman, stick of fun. 1991. It's just some kind of old poster. I hate posters because they're painted butter display. Vampire Beast and Immortal. Oh. Uh, a League of uh, Extraordinary Gentlemen, I think. Something like that. I'm not going to unpack it. Uh, the World's First Issue. There's a lot of paperwork. This is funny. This is... Love, old and new. But the whole book is out, I guess. I had your money in there. Interesting. Either that or your whiskey. Happy birthday. Universal Pictures. That's cool. Looks as if you wish you were here. So stuff like this, we actually will put this stuff in special binders. And then, you know, get two, three dollars. Old sports cards. See, people love stuff like this. Vintage. Hawaii, I'm assuming. The Rockefeller record. At Faulkner's Tennis. Heavy action. That's a cool card. Put this aside. Silent Night. Record Guild of America. Star Wars. So it's just like cool stuff, you know. Get well soon. Your doctor told me. <laughs> For your birthday, I'm sending you a belly dancer. So, vintage green cards. <laughs> see what else is here. Issue number nine, haircut 100, Lou Reed, Tony Basil, Pi Radio, 1982. Only magazine on a cassette. <laughs> Shazam DC is coming. No date on it. So, but whenever Shazam came out, this must be right before. Postcards. I'm not going to open up every little one. Some more. Kind of seems like the same stuff a little bit. Spider-Man. 1985. Child Travel Guide. Monsters of the Sea. I got the light on, so it's like heating. CD envelopes, little tower, old TV guides. Some people love these. I think somebody in my last video said I was too rough with one, but you know, it was it wasn't taken the right way. It's all good. He just said he pointed out he liked them. I think it was OL OLN magazines. Check this out: Star Wars, 1977. Super cool. That's a good five, ten bucks at minimum. And then if they're rare, maybe more. Cool stuff. See, these boxes add up. Like, my goal is to get, uh, to get at least a hundred bucks a box out. Because I got over a thousand boxes. So, I mean, over two thousand boxes that I know of. Some of these old karate books. If you guys go to yard sales and stuff and you do picking... Look these up on eBay and Amazon. Uh, some of these are like 30, 40, 50 bucks and they sell fast. All right, let's see what we have here Comic Fandom Monthly, the magazine of comic books. The Dick of Philosophy, Stanley of Carnica Hall. Let's see what time period these are. It's actually pretty cool. 1971. So I think this is before Comic Con even started. See if there's any dealers out there. It's all newsletter. Okay. Look at Asterix. Oh man, Asterix. I didn't know you guys would write it as in uh, America. But that was my favorite comic as a kid. Wow. It's pretty cool. No ads. But here's Con Comic Fandom Monthly. We seem to have. Let me see, we'll go right down there. Shirley Temple, John Wayne. We showed some of this in the last video. We found a bunch. The Creature, Carl Comics, number one, 1974. There's a stack of these. Somebody look these up for me really quick. Leave a comment, be part of the team. 
I, I'll try to take a look at these by the time I get home, but I don't know. Huh. April 15, 1974, published irregularly. This is issue number one. And I would say I have probably 15 copies there. Another few here, so probably close to 20 copies. Hopefully that's a good one. And it all depends who the artist is. Did he become anything else? Did it turn into anything? Did any did anything start in it? I'm not familiar with that one. Kung Fu, Ninja Secrets. Again, a lot of these books, you want to look them up. Hidden Money Makers. You can go to Yard Sale, find the right thing, and make thousands of dollars. The Book of Werewolves. Bruce Lee, Fighting Method. Sword and Prush. Actually, now, just for fun, if somebody is out there, look them up and post what these things are worth. So I have a few of these. I saw some before. These are Wush and Poppet. Made in California. Wush and Poppet. Kind of cool vintage. Look to be at least 70s. Gospel of St. Matthews. The Acts. Little toy plane. Tugboat. See? Like, you never know what's in these boxes. Like, we just found these number one issues. Oh, Kentucky basketball trading cards. Kentucky basketball trading cards. Probably not really anything worth anything, but these are older ones, so let me see what are these. Mm, good doesn't say, but Rick Pitino is still there. Archer's Bible. Not a book that could be really good. These are just mats. These are worthless. Trash. The Buffet has Guide, or the Bluff has Guide. <laughs> Sorry, I read Buffet. That's funny. The Spider-Man Way. The Sub Subway free con Marvel comic book. Subway, 1996. Somebody probably would like to have it. Salem Witch Museum, 1692. Put on your thinking cap. The thinking cap company. That's actually a cool telephone handle. We have the rest of the phone. Let's see what we see here. More books. Ooh, Pacific Comics Club. Drago by Hawkeye. Pacific Comics Club. And this is... Bern Hogard. 1985. Hmm. Of paper, nothing. Let me see what this is. Just envelopes, nothing special. Not a TV guide. Bon Appetit cooking books. Pentex. These are interesting. Oh, these are these real some Search for Atlantis. Oh no, these are CDs. Sixteen racing. I thought it was something else. And, you know, so many complain that the videos are too long. I mean, I have a lot of stuff to show, you know. Like, you know, another user actually said back, if you don't like it, just don't watch it, you know. Just wa watch as much time as you want to spend in. You want to watch more? German stamps, Bundespost. If you want to watch more, there's stuff here for you to watch. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. Oh, it looks like an old comic on the bottom. It looks like Golden Age color, but let's take a look. Probably just one of these club magazines or something, but we'll check it out because oh that's comic books. Justice League. That doesn't look like nothing exciting. Under Sea Age in 25 cents. That looks older. The Joker, 1982. DC, that's a cool sticker. Nick Furry Shield number nine. So we'll put these aside. The sticker is super cool. Oh, actually, these paper doll books, I got a whole stack one time. We sold them all online for anywhere from 10 to 30. They obviously have to be unused, and then depending on subject matter. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, The Batman Collection. There's Casey. What's up, Casey? I'm doing an unexpected boxing video because I don't know if I'm going to have time much next week, so I'm trying to get a couple ready. 
Oh, well, aren't you thoughtful? Yeah, you know, people want to see what we got. And we find some cool stuff in here. We find these number one issues from a comic, Jumbo Man magazine. Cool. I just don't know if they're worth anything. I got a Jumbo Man. He's worth a lot. <laughs> Is that a fat joke? No. Oh, by the way, you need a haircut. I know, but nobody sees my hair, so huh. I'm actually going to get one tomorrow. Thunder Agents, 25 cents. That's a cool cover. Probably not worth much, but a cool 25 cents cover. Let's see, a couple more things. A couple more buttons, some more postcards. Not going to bore you with this. Annie Shipwrecked. And Read Along, Everybody Loves. Robotech Booby Trap. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's a Robotech Leader Run. Re Robotech Read Along. You know, another comic, uh, um, another uh, YouTuber just made a comment on that, saying sometimes when you film, you're trying to film, you're trying to be interactive and point everything out. And then at the same time, here, take the stack while you're here. Then at the same time, um, Bruce Lee books, these are probably good money. Then at the same time, so you're trying to film, you're trying to talk about this stuff, but you're also trying to pay attention to what you're doing. So sometimes you just mispronounce or say stuff that doesn't even make sense. But unless you do a YouTube channel, you do videos, and you do the filming, you do everything, you just kind of, you don't know what I'm talking about. Be careful, just put them on the shelf over there, I'm going to research those. And how do you think these will do in the store? It's all John Wayne cards and Shirley Temple. Oh, yeah. They have really like good. hundreds of these. I think three bucks a piece, right? Mm -hmm. People will love them. So I'm just going to put this stuff back in, and then we're going to look at a box full of sports cards, which I'm going to price for the store right now. But this was a fun little box. We saw some cool stuff. And if... Huh? Exciting. Yeah, it's just like a lot of cool paperwork. But it's, it's stuff that actually, that's the one thing we need to um, Have get out. stars paper. Yeah, people ask all the time. It sells good. And like you can make like one box that say it's, it's half of the size. And you just fill it up with paperwork. And even if most of your items are 2 to $10, early Hawaii sweat bathing suit, little postcard. Cute. So um, even if that stuff is like 2 to $10, it adds up really fast. You put out one box, you put $500 to $1,000 of the merchandise. Real and it fast. takes up little shelf space. Yeah, it takes a very little shelf space. Oops. And people love it. Okay, can you do it here? Hand me that shirt so I can come and wash it. Okay. And then I'm going to leave. That's why I came in here. Okay, but I'm, I'm doing YouTube videos. Okay, bye. All right. All right, bye. Look at this. Mwah. Okay, bye. Well, I'm going to have to cut all this out now anyway. So. But, okay, so KC just left. We're going to open up this box. This is all, it looks like it's all trading cards. Now here, I'm gonna give you guys a lesson, especially if you guys have a store. A lot of people will make comments. Oh, here, 1989 baseball. This is all junk, nobody wants it. Oops, Let's see if I can't even get it out. Let me see here. This is all junk, nobody wants it. This is, what, what is this, 1988. So basically for box stuff to be really great, you kind of need like uh, 85 or earlier. But, so they say, yeah, this box is worth five to 10 bucks, maybe 15 bucks, they're actually going up because a lot of people like that, that grew up in that time period, now they're turning into 30s and 40s. They're starting to buy it. You know, the cards are not super great, but they're reminiscent of the time when they opened these boxes. So, um, but here's the deal. If you have a store, I don't sell these for 10 bucks a box. We actually will put these out and we sell them for 99 cents a pack, which means we get 36 bucks a box. There's usually 36 packs in there. And there's a lot of parents that are buying for their kids. The kids still love them. There's a lot of their legends in there. And, you know, most panini packs and stuff, even the cheap ones are like 2 $3 these days. And they just go up from there. So for a third of the price, you can still open up some cool vintage packs. So that's the thinking behind it when I say, you know, I get 36 bucks a box. 89 baseball. Mark McQuay, I don't know if he's his rookie. So I have to look these up, but most likely he's all 99 cents a pack. Hockey, Bowman, these sell slow, but they sell. And then, uh, there's some different Dunruss stuff in. These are Bowman hockeys. That's cool. Actually, what year is this pop up? It only said 35 cents. I don't see a year. Somebody, uh, this must be something different. A puzzle thing. So let me know what these are. I see some other cool, interesting stuff down there, so we'll get that in a second. 91 baseball, all time legends. I know this is swell. I've never had this before. I don't know what this is worth. I've never heard of this company, Philadelphia Jewel Income Corporation. I know there used to be a Philadelphia trading card company, so I don't know if that's the same company. But again, worst worst case scenario, 99 cents a pack, and who knows, you might be 2 or $3. Um, top Stadium Club, because that was a fun set in 1992. Baseball. Uh, these actually could be a little bit more. I have to look these up. 
I know the top stadium, I think 92 uh, in football is actually pretty good. And then if I remember this color of the box, I think this is an 85 or earlier, which gets, oh no, this is different. Flair 1990. But people like these, these are all the rack packs. So we'll probably sell these for like $1.99 a pack. Kind of cool in the box. Never have these here. And then what else do we have here? Oh, there's other stuff down there. Interesting. I see some interesting stuff. At least I see the colors look interesting. Eh. This is different. 1998 OPG Baseball. It's a complete set. That's the Canadian. I've never had it. I don't expect it to be that much. But I'll check it out. So that's something we'll probably sell for 10 or 20 bucks. It's like a complete set. Then I have um, muscle cars. I had a bunch of these. We'll sell these for 99 cents a pack. Again, 36 packs. They don't sell super fast, but people will buy them. They like them. Baseball, uh, 1990 tops. At least 99 cents a pack. Now, these you have to look up. So um, I got a couple boxes on that were going 100 to 200 bucks a box. I don't know what these are. These are Star Wars Galaxy 1993, you know, but because it's Star Wars, it's going to be at least $1.99 a pack. So um, 36 packs in here. Again, you do the math, $72. So you see this is adding up. I mean, this box is actually four, or 500 bucks. Now, will it all sell overnight? No, but it will sell. 1999 Fleer Premier Edition football. Same thing, at least 99 cents a pack. And I know some of the 90s football stuff is actually good. I just have to look it up. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Hot hit movie. Never had these. These are vintage. These are super cool. At least a buck a pack, maybe two bucks a pack. I don't think Roger Rabbit is super hot, but we got two boxes. There's another one. Hothead movie. We'll check these out. And then we have uh, Baseball 1992 Series 1. All sealed packs. There's a little bit of other stuff in here too. But it's pretty much uh, Baseball. Donruss, some more that pop-up stuff. I don't know what this is. Their packs, you know, I'll probably do a dollar pack. And then this baseball, not a set. It's in French. I have to look it up, but probably nothing too great. And here's another Star Wars. So back then he had 58 bucks on it. A special Star Wars uh, trilogy. Special, the Star Wars trilogy edition. Tops Vite Vision. And this might be a $100 box. So I'll look these up. If these boxes get really high... Then sometimes I'll just go ahead and uh, and sell the whole box on eBay. But you know what? Again, 36 packs. If I can get 3 bucks a pack on this, that's uh, over $100. So just, you know, do the math really quick. Let's just assume at... We'll just average at... Because uh, there's higher stuff. But we'll just say 35 bucks a box. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Seven, seven, and then uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We don't count these two, and fifteen boxes. Fifteen times thirty-five, we got three fifty, one seventy-five, five twenty-five. So just that little box right here, five hundred twenty-five bucks. Let's say fifteen bucks a piece on these, five hundred fifty bucks. And when you do retail, that's the stuff that's important because that's how you make your money. So just like milking stuff like this. It's super easy to sell Mickey Mantle cards. But this is the stuff that sells every day and a grandma comes in with their kid and they just buy it. And it's like, hey, give me three packs of this. Give me three packs of that. The old vintage stuff like the Roger Rabbit and Turtles when we get them. We always have them on the counter. New kids on the block, we sell them like crazy. I probably sold 20 boxes last year. 